Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. It's the weekend, it's time to mow the lawn. <laughs> and on the farm, stuff for some reason just always breaks down. And today we're working on my own Craftsman lawn tractor. DYS4500. It's got the 26 horsepower V-twin Kohler Pro engine. And the symptoms are actually very bizarre. So a little background, this thing is, what, 2006 model year, so 13 years old, and it's been bomb proof. I mean, you know, the mowing conditions here aren't the best. There's always rocks and, I don't know, the lawn's like pretty, pretty good size, so it's like a two-hour job, and the thing has never really given us any problems up until recently. So the symptoms. Starts up cold, just fine. Uh, as a manual choke, fires up, and then you get mowing. Turn the choke off, good to go, right? Then, about three to five minutes into it, it starts dying, like it's running out of fuel. You pull the choke out a little bit, smooths right out. You put the choke back in, uh, dies more and more and more until it stalls out. Kind of a pain. Then, if you you know do the little choke trick for a little while, it warms up, and then it, it gets back to its happy spot. You can mow all day long with the choke off, like uh, you know, like it's brand new. What could be causing these symptoms? Well, you might say, "Hey, Ivan, you know, clean the carburetor out." Uh, a, I already looked at the carburetor, and all the jets were freaking clean. No, no clogs anywhere. No ethanol deposits. So that's not it. It's not the carburetor. What else could it be? It's definitely a fuel issue because if it was spark, you pull the choke, nothing would happen. And sometimes it feels like it's running on one cylinder before it dies. It gets worse and worse and then putters out. So let's start it up. Right now, it's in its, you know, it just warmed up a little bit. I went up and down the lane a couple times until it started acting up. I thought it was fixed actually. <laughs> No, not the case. So, get on the thing, get a little throttle. Fires off, chokes off, starts dying. Pull the choke out a little bit. Not happy. So, at first thought, I mean, this is what I thought. Initially, too, carburetor problem, main jet's clogged up. But it doesn't explain our symptoms when you can run it without a choke for three to five minutes. It's perfect. That's when it should need more fuel. And then as it warms up, it gets worse. Could it be a fuel feed problem, like the fuel pump? Maybe. But again, how do you explain it? Th that zone between five minutes of running and 20 minutes of running, it's acting up and Otherwise, it's fine. When it's colder, it's fine. When it's warmer, it's fine. I don't think it's a fuel pump problem. And when I took the carb off, like, you know, the bowl is full of fuel. Ah, my guess is the intake manifold gaskets, right where the plastic intake, you know, attaches to the aluminum heads, eventually, from expansion contraction, you start getting vacuum leaks there. And on a carbureted engine, you know, you won't set a, <laughs> a lean code, the thing will just stall out because A, now you have less vacuum in the intake, you get too much air, so the mixture is already lean. And then if you have less vacuum, you can't pull enough fuel from the carburetor, so you get even more lean, and then it just stalls out, you can't keep up. And as the thing really warms up, those gaskets seal again, and you're back in business. And I've gotten burned on this once before in a lawn tractor, it took me like two hours to figure out hey the intake manifold gasket one of them was literally torn it was running lean but that one had almost like a single cylinder misfire one cylinder was weak and this one not exactly the same symptoms but uh, what check can we do to rule out intake manifold gaskets well get it running spray some carb clean at those areas and if it really changes a lot you know if it runs smoother or coughs or something that will definitely tell us that we have a leak in those areas it has to be at this temperature because otherwise they might seal up and you'll never find it. So let's pop the engine cover off and see if we can find some 
leaking intake manifold gaskets. All right, so I popped off the engine cover. Took one minute, just a few screws around there. Here's our layout. Air intake, carburetor, plastic intake manifold going to each cylinder symmetrically. And then we got an ignition coil for each cylinder. Here's the fuel pump. It's activated by, I guess, crankcase pulsations. Goes, you know, from the fuel filter, fills up the carb. So let's fire it up, and I want to take just a propane bottle, turn it on, and kind of go around here and see if the mixture changes as it runs. Well, I mowed for like 10 minutes and I think ran flawless. Go figure. For lack of a better thing to try, I'm going to pop off this intake manifold. Just four bolts, super easy. Take a look at these gaskets. You can kind of see there's some grass kind of stuck in there. Like Maybe I was mowing and the grass got sucked in and plugged the vacuum leak. Who knows? Let's pop these guys off, take a quick peek. Alright, four bolts. We've got the intake manifold propped up. Here are the gaskets. They're O-ring type on a plastic intake and like right here it looks like it's a hundred percent compressed meaning it doesn't protrude from the ceiling surface so even though the ceiling surface itself looks pretty clean when this thing heats up and cools down I wouldn't be surprised that this gasket starts letting some vacuum through like right here where it's super compressed sorry about that I think that's what's going on so can I get new ones maybe can we fix it on the spot prove the concept not sure <laughs> here it is Ugh. it still looks pliable but these things, you know, they're, they're not exactly lifetime use. Hmm. So taking a look at the gasket, the edges are definitely cracked and the rubber is old, to be expected. Especially right there. So this thing heats up and cools down. I suspect that these aren't sealing as well as they used to. And it wouldn't take a too big of a vacuum leak to make this thing run. Not ideally. So, I'm going to try to get some new ones. Because these are heat resistant, I'm guessing, and they're kind of a special shape. So a regular O-ring wouldn't really work. So, these probably are pennies on eBay. But we'll be back with the repair. Alright, we're going to go the Russian way. RTV. Put the gasket in the intake manifold, and then just smear it with RTV on both sides, slap it back together. All right, here we go. No parts required, baby. Make it nice and sloppy. Let me see all the way around. Do the other side, slap her back together.
So it worked. The little dab of our TV. The Craftsman is running beautifully. No hiccups. I mowed the entire lawn. It runs fantastic. So if your lawn tractor is starting to act up and it's a fuel problem, it could either be the carburetor, but don't uh, forget about those intake manifold gaskets. Very, I think it's a common problem, but you wouldn't immediately think of it. And that was causing running issues on this thing. Kind of weird symptoms, but it's solved. Confirmed fix, no parts required. So enjoy the summer, enjoy mowing your lawn, and see you next time. Bye-bye.